Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a walk for fitness and these are just fun simple moves that you can do at home. Okay let's go. Let's start our bodies moving now or get our bodies moving just by marching forward and back and just gradually bringing in those arms. So today's workout is a little bit different than what I usually do for the channel, which is using the gym bus or the little timer. Today it's just going to be like a freestyle workout. We're going to be just doing moving from one exercise to the other. If you're feeling a little fatigued, you can just march it out or use the walks as active rest. Okay, let's bring those knees up a little higher now. Engage your core now. So all that means is you're drawing your belly button towards your spine, okay? And you can just feel that little bit of tension building up around your belly button area, okay? And that protects your lower back. So it's a bit like tightening a corset, keeping everything nice and safe. Great. Now that you have that down, let's talk about the breathing because it's very important that you keep air coming in when you're working out, okay? So big deep breaths in, fill up the lungs, blow it all out. Just imagine you're blowing out candles on a birthday cake out through pursed lips. Great work now. Drive those arms. Good. Let's get that circulation working for you. It can be a little bit sluggish in the colder months. So let's uh, help it out a little bit here. Now crisscross in front. Good, we bring in some mobility now into our warm up. Get the joints mobile. Good, and drive those elbows back behind you. And by you doing that, you can feel the muscles in your upper back there, your trapezius, your rhomboids, they're your posture muscles starting to engage and activate a little bit. Good. Keep your breathing going. Now let's go up to the ceiling and cross. Up, cross. Now just bring in some shoulders. Good. Up and cross. Great work. Punch out that ceiling. Punch, cross. Good work, you're doing great. You can take it off the spot if you like, if you don't feel like it's too much coordination going on here, because I know we're doing a lot here with the body. Or you can just stay on the spot. We'll count you out now, five, four, keep the feet going, three, two, and one. Now feet going, now we're gonna drive these knees up a little higher. And up, and up. Keep your posture nice and tall. Remember, as we always say here, we have a broomstick, sweeping brush going down our, it's tucked into our workout top, okay? And that's, it's just that to give you that image of keeping your spine straight. Good. Now again, you can move off the spot here, have a little bit of fun. Great. Back and back, back and forward. That's it, good. If you haven't got a lot of space, you can do it on the spot. But you don't need a lot of room here for these workouts. Even an exercise mat, you'll still get a good workout. That's it, good. Drive up, knee up, knee up, good. Punch, punch it out, great. There's lots of stepping moves today on purpose because it is a walk workout and also just to help you increase your steps, get your steps up for the day, great. Drive that knee up, pull your belly button in, that's it, keep it nice and engaged. Feel that tension in around your tummy. Punch it out, good. And four, three, keep the legs going, two, one, and just give me four, three, two. Now hold the legs open wide and we'll do our little torso reaches. Love, love including this in warm-ups. I think it's a great mobility exercise. Keeps the heart rate up as well. So I think it's a great one to get into your warm-ups. Now again, if you have trouble reaching your arm above your head, try and find a way that works for you. So maybe across the front of your body there, chest height, or even if that's too much, go down towards the floor, just punch out in front of your tummy. But if you can get those arms above your head, go for that because this is a great, great move. That's it. And really, really lengthen those arms, lengthen out that trunk area. That's it, good. Feel a lovely stretch from your shoulder really down to your hip. Great work. 10 to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's take it back to a march. We're just gonna do, bring in the inner thighs a little bit, step out to the side, and other side. Good, step, center, out. And it's just a mini lunge. I'm not doing anything too intense because we're just warming up. So we're just getting the knees awake here a little bit and the inner thighs. The inner thighs can be notoriously tight on a lot of people, especially if you're doing morning workouts or you've been sitting for long periods. So just be careful with lunges. That's it, you can always put a chair in front of you and hold on if you need assistance there with your balance. Good, it's always good to challenge the balance though. Every day, spend a bit of time working on your balance. Even if you lose the exercise or you fall over a little bit, that's okay, that's your brain learning. Just keep trying. That's it, now you might be able to try and get down a little deeper. Good, not too much again, we're not going too deep here. That's it, and two to go. And I want you to hold your legs out wide and we're just gonna reach and reach. Again, just getting that torso nice and warm. Now make sure you haven't lost that engagement in your abs. Pull your belly button right in towards your spine. That's it, good. Reach across like you're trying to touch both sides of the room here. Reach, keep your tummy muscles engaged and if you're feeling any twinges in your lower back, just be careful that, make sure, first of all, make sure you've engaged your tummy, you haven't lost that connection. If you're still feeling it, maybe leave it till the cool down when you have a bit of sweat on your skin because sometimes in the warm up, it can just take a little while for the body to really, really get warm. Good, two to go, last one. Okay, now let's do a few leg kick outs. So kick, kick with a can-can coming up in today's workout. So I just wanna get those hamstrings ready for that. So gently down low if you can, you can't kick up high. But if you can, watch you don't lean back, okay? Keep the spine really straight. Remember the broomstick, good. Or as another good way is to think about keeping your spine straight is that you're working with, a, with your, your back against the wall, okay? Kick and kick, that's it. Kick out, good, keep that breathing going. Let's hear those deep, big deep breaths, good. Kick, kick. Great work. Now we're going to start any minute, so you won't hear any beeps today. <laughs> okay, good. That's great, kicking out, kick. Just our stopwatch will guide us through this workout today. Okay, kicking out. And we're gonna keep going for about, we might bring it up to the 25 minute mark, we'll, we'll see, okay. Good, kick and kick. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's walk out. Uh, let's do our stationary walks. I like these, they hit the calf. And when you're doing a lot of stepping moves, it is nice to actually keep those calves nice and warm. Great, I'll get them warm even. Good, press that heel gently into the floor. Great, now we're gonna start off walking. Then we'll add in, we'll just keep walking. We'll add in some W arms, okay? Good. Try not to fall forward. This is one of these ones that might knock you over a little bit. Again, you can use a little bit of furniture or the chair in front of you for balance, but it's good to just practice balancing your body. Okay, right, let's get going. I'll press the timer. We'll see how quickly we can get through everything. All right, so let's start now by walking. And I forgot to say, you can add some dumbbells to this if you want to. That's totally optional. That's up to you. Okay, make sure your workout space is clear. No dumbbells lying around. Good. Okay. Let's start off now just by enjoying our walk. That's it. And we'll bring in some more specific type arm moves now very soon, okay? Let's just focus on walking and driving those knees up to our chest, okay? Belly button in again. Don't lose that nice engagement there. That helps keep your spine tall and retract your shoulder blades as well because that really does help to keep your posture upright. And then shoulders down away from the earlobes. There should be a good gap between your 
shoulders and earlobes. You're not hunching or crunching up your shoulders. Okay, no shrugging. All right, let's dry those knees up. Good, let's pretend we're walking up some nice, a nice steep incline now. I actually did that yesterday. <laughs> we had some uh, nice spring sunshine. So we got out for a walk in a, a park, a local park near where we live. And um, there was really some serious <laughs> inclines. I could really feel it. Okay, feeling those glutes today. All right, let's bring in some W arms. W, good. So you're just putting your arms in the shape of a W and driving up to the ceiling. Now that might uh, change how far you can bring up your knees, so don't worry about that. Quite drive those arms up to the ceiling. These are like partial shoulder presses here. We're not going into a full range of movement, but they burn really quickly, even body weight. So if you have dumbbells in your hand, <laughs> you're doing really well. Okay, they're burning already. You can move off the spot and push. If you find the coordination is too much for you there, keep the legs going and stay on the spot. Good. Oh, keep going. Let's go for another five seconds. Good. We'll take it back to walking. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's go forward with the walk. Good. Take it back. Well done. Forward and back. Forward. We'll change it up a little bit now. We'll take, take it into some side steps, all right? So we'll get some lateral moves in today. Great. And back. Let's do two more. Forward. Back. Forward again. Back. Now hold your spot. Now let's just take it into some side steps. Side. Side. Good. Bring in some arms now again. Good. How's your breathing? Getting that air in and out for me. Good. Lift. Lift. And of course you can take it off the spot. I think it's nice to get off the spot. Makes it a little bit more interesting. Even if, like I say, you've only got a small space, exercise mat space, use it up. That's it. Go forward and back. Good. It's good for the joints as well. You can really feel the ankle joints here, getting great mobility, great work here. Just gently tap out the floor with your toe. Keep your heel up as the foot goes out. Don't be trying to force your heel down. That's it. Good. Reach up. Now, if you want to make this more intense, reach those arms up above your head. Okay, now like I said in the warm-up, if you're not able for overhead movements, just keep your arms down low, okay? Now you can bend your knees slightly. You can increase the intensity here by going faster. Good. You can even add a little hop if you want to, if you don't mind bringing in some impact into this workout. That's good if you're feeling really energized today. Good work. Come on, keep going. That's it. Good, stepping out to the side. Let's do five seconds. Taking it back to a walk. Leave out the arms now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's march it out. If you were jumping there, you might feel like a little bit of recovery now. Okay. Great, now we're going to do more lateral or side moves. These ones are gonna hit those glute medius now, very, the next move, okay? And that's those, outer hip muscles. We don't really have outer hip muscles, it's just an extension of the glutes that come around to the side. But they're very underused and people have a lot of issues with their posture because of the fact that they uh, atrophy or shrink without use. Okay, so out. So we're gonna, sorry, lift out, little bounce in the middle, other side. And that little squat is going to bring in the front of the legs there for you and a little bit more into the glute maximus gluteus maximus, which is our largest portion of the glute muscle. So we're kind of getting an all-rounded exercise here. Sit your hip down, think about tailbone to the floor and head up high. That's what you've got to think about here. Squeeze it out. Now I want you to pretend that you've got two sponges stuck to your hips there and you're squeezing the water out. That's it, good. Sit down, keep breathing now. This will get your heart rate up because it's very sort of ballistic type move, a bouncy move. Go down lower with your squat if you want to. Slow down the move. That's it. Or you can keep it like a little mini squat. Good. Chest up for me. Look forward. 
Good. How many more of these do you think you can do? Will we go for five? We're sorry, we go for an even number. Six, five, just get both sides. Four, three, two, one. Okay, well done. Great work. That was brilliant. My heart rate's quite elevated there now with that one. Let's recover. Bring it down a little bit. Let's walk with tricep pushbacks. Now imagine you're pushing sand back behind you or water. Okay, now really feel a stretch here at the front of your shoulder and the back of the arm getting a little bit of work. That's great. Keep breathing now. Let's hear those nice air, oxygen flowing around those muscles to keep you going. And then we're going to do some toe taps and sweep the arms across the body. Okay, let's get, do another 10, 15 seconds here. Good. Knees up if you can. Good, five seconds. Four, three, two. Now let's tap, tap with your toe, tap. So again, the heel is up. Now bring in the arm, sweep, sweep. Cross the body, just have fun with it. As you notice here, we're just going from one move to the other. If you're finding that a little bit too intense, you're used to the 20 second or 30 second walk, take it to a walk, okay? Take it, walk it with it whenever you feel like you need that little bit of a break. That's it, good. You can come back when you're feeling refreshed again. Good, tap, tap, that's it. And again, you can go above the head here, here with these ones. Coordination's a little bit tricky with the toe tap coming across the body, okay? Give it a go though. That's it. Well done. Reach up. Reach up. Great work. Keep going now. Keep that spine tall. Okay, 10 seconds. Good. Eight minutes in already. Where did those eight minutes go? I didn't even feel them go by at all. I think it's a good sign you're enjoying your you're training, you're working out. Okay, rest those arms. Walk again, quick walk. We're gonna do a chest press, shoulder press. Okay, let's go. Chest, shoulder, push out, push up, out and up. Good, that's it. Now feel the muscles working hard. I want you to imagine that you're pushing something heavy away and pushing something up over your head. Okay, imagine that and up good and reach up just pretend you have dumbbells if you're not using dumbbells you can really make body weight exercises very challenging like you are lifting weights so just push away push over your head that's it good slow down the moves feel the muscles working that's it push and up good Arms getting a little bit fatigued now. Yeah, I can feel them getting heavy. Let's do two more. So this is one and this is two. Now let's go walk up our steep incline while we rest those arms. Good. Now if you want, you're welcome to take this into a little skip or a jog or a full out run. Okay, that option is there for you. You can mix it up, mix between the three, do 10 seconds of each. That way you're kind of interval training a little bit. Good. Or you can just keep it low impact. Go a little faster. There's lots of ways to increase the intensity uh, without jumping. Good work. Climb up that hill, come on. See if you can get your belly button up to your spot, up to your, sorry, your knees up to your belly button. That's it, good work. You're getting all the body parts mixed up. Great. Now next move, it's a little bit of a brain teaser. It's two double knee raises, so to this leg, to this leg, and then singles. So then it's one, two here, one, two here, and then one, one. Okay, you got that? All right, let's go in four, three, two, and one. So one, two, good, one, two, single, one, two, and again, one, two, one, two, good, back to singles, have you got it? One and two, one and two, single, single, double, 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 that's it, single, single, now just keep going with that, 
Good. You're probably getting comfortable with it now, so you might be able to speed up a little bit. Don't worry if you can't. You can keep, keep that tempo down if you need to. That's it. Good. And one and two. One, two, one, two, and single. Single, double, 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 single, single. Let's do two more. Good. That's it. It's two singles. Last time through it. One, two, one, two, single, single. Well done. Walk it out. How did you get on with that one? Yeah, that got the brain thinking, didn't it, early in the morning? Okay. There's a few neurons awake now. <laughs> All right. Let's walk it forward and walk it back. That's it. Forward and walk it back. Good. And I always think, like, they do say doing crossword puzzles and things like that are very good. You should be doing one every day because it's exercise for the brain. But I always think that if you do an exercise that challenges your coordination a little bit, that to me is very much exercise for the brain as well. Okay, so that's a healthy way to work out. Okay, so you're getting your body and your muscles worked out as well as the mind. Great, good. Keep going with your walk or jog it out if you want to. Now the next one we're going to do is zigzag forward. I'm going to do about three zigzags forward and jog it back. Now you don't have to jog it back. You can walk it back, okay? I'll start off with the walking and then I'll just take it up into a jog for anyone who wants to do jogging. Okay, four, three, two, and go. So forward. That's three. Jog it back. Good. One, two three jog it back good sorry i said start off with walking didn't i anyway it's just stepping it back good that's it two three step it back now watch if you're using dumbbells and you've put them down make sure they're not in your way have a little check make sure your workout space is clear good and little skip or jog back good one two three and a nice little jog back. Good. Forward, forward, forward. And all the way back. Good. One, two, three. And all the way back. Good work. Keep going. Come on. Get that heart rate up a little bit more for me. Two, three. Step it back. If you're feeling a little bit fatigued, now that's fine. You can mix between jogging and just keeping it low impact. One two, three, all the way back. Let's do one more. One, two, three. Now let's take it back into our little march, jog, run, whatever you like. And I know a lot of you out there are saying you're able to take it up into little jogging intervals. Now that's brilliant. It's a real sign that you're progressing. Can Can coming next. So it's a knee raise, kick out, and then the other leg, okay? So now you might need there's a lot of force on the body with this move, so if you need to hold on to something, that's fine, okay? Sturdy piece of furniture, kitchen chair will do fine. Let's go. Knee up, kick. Other leg, it's just that alternating that makes it a little bit challenging on the balance. Kick it out. Up, kick. Again, you don't have to kick high. We did do this particular kick out in the warm-up. Okay, we did some kick outs. So your hamstrings should be nice and warm, but if you still feel they're a little bit stiff, start off and kick low, okay? That's it, good. Then if you can get your tempo up a little bit, or your legs up a little bit higher, go for that. Good, watch that back. So keeping nice and flat for me. That's it, yeah. Kick out nice and straight. Kick up and out up and out good work we're 15 and coming up on 15 and a half minutes now that's it good and out up and kick good work come on you're doing a great job kick it out and kick great kick good if feeling nice stretch like an elastic band you will after this one good Let's do six more. One, good. Two, three, 
oops, get that balance. Four, five, and last one. Now let's go for another walk. Good. Maybe a little light little skip just to mix it up, change it up for the body a little bit. Good. That's it. Getting a little bit of heat. Most definitely heat in the body now. A bit of sweat flowing now. That's good. You can take this side to side. Just keep that gap between your feet so that you don't uh, trip over one foot over the other. Good. Get that imaginary rope going. Now you can come back to the middle. If you want to just stay on the spot and focus a little bit more on turning the rope, the imaginary rope, <laughs> tuck those elbows in like you would if you had a rope in your hand. That keeps the elbow joint, joint safe. Great. Let's take it back to a walk now, okay? Now we've got some high bicep curls. Now these are, I think these are pretty safe body weight, okay? If you did choose to use dumbbells today, I'd, I'd just be careful if they're, it's okay if you're on the light side, but you have to monitor that, monitor that yourself. But if you're feeling twinges in your elbows, bring those bicep curls down to your, sorry, into a lower, where the elbows are tucked into your ribs, okay? Just bring the elbows down lower. I'm gonna go up higher here, curling those arms. Now really contract, contract the front of your arm here, the bicep. I'm gonna do some tricep work as well after this just to balance out the biceps and the triceps good that's it contract release contract release just give me two more keep the arms up high if you can if you need a rest put them down now extension good keep the elbows close to the earlobes here good work straighten those arms right up to the ceiling slight bend in the elbow though Good, don't knock out your joints. Reach up. Another good one with a light pair of dumbbells. Watch you don't start arching your back now. Keep it straight. That's it, you're looking good. Good work. Reach up and contract as you reach those arms to the ceiling. Feel the work there going on in the back of your arm now. Good. That's it, two to go. Last one. Now let's take it back into either a light little skip. You can jog it out if you want to, or you can march up that steep incline again. Get those knees up nice and high. Whatever you like. Okay, we're going to do some step backs now. I'm just resting out the arms for you. Because we are going to do high pull downs, okay? Upper body burn. So they are. Good. Watch your back with the next one, particularly if you have dumbbells, okay? Engaging that core is going to be very important right now, okay? Let's step it back. Keep that heel up, okay? Sort of like backwards walking, okay? That's it, just recruiting different muscle groups here. Now reach up, pull down. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Now you can kind of coordinate it. Yeah, get that coordination. I think you need to kind of bring up the tempo here a little bit to get that coordination. Now, pull down. Come on, some power in the pull. That's it. Pull it down. Good. Good. Keep that breathing going. Now, you are bending slightly at the waist here, but you're still looking forward. Okay, we're not bringing our spines into a curved over position. We're keeping it upright. Just a slight bend, the back is still straight. Good work, we're 20 minutes in, can you believe that? Good, come on, pull down, pull, that's it. Keep the heel up there, don't force your heel into the ground, don't stress out your Achilles tendon. Good, reach and pull, reach, reach, good. Five to go, four, three, two, one, let's walk it out again. Just a very quick walk. I want to get some more of these moves in. Okay, we're going to do some heel taps now. Let's take it into heel taps. Just alternating. Now you can keep it at this simple move if you want to, or you can sit down, heel, sit, heel. Good. That's it. Again, we're just bringing in the thighs here a little bit. Glutes as well. 
Well, it makes it a little bit more intense. If you don't want to do that, you're just feeling fatigued today, you were just really looking for a walk, step, move, leave it out and just do this. Look, that's fine. You can bring in more arms with this one too. But if you want to, you don't mind getting in that little squat in the middle, go for it. Good. Can we really feel the abs working with it? Good work, keep going, that's it. Tap it out. Keep breathing. Getting in that oxygen, we have a few minutes left, so let's keep our breathing going. That's it, great. Sit, tap, sit, tap. Good. Let's do 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Jog it or walk it. Skip it even, I like the skip move. And again, I, it's pretty much low impact. With one foot staying on the ground all the time right here. Yeah. Just a light little low impact. Skip low intensity. Still getting the heart rate up because we're moving continuously. So your heart rate's going to be elevated here. Okay, now, you stay with that. I just want to show you the next one. So it's a little bit of coordination again. Knee, knee raise and clap for two. And then we're alternating, okay? So you're just clapping the hands under for two, switching legs, okay? We'll do that in about 20 seconds or so. Good work. Let's get a few more of these bouncy, happy feeling skips in here. Good, 10 seconds. Keep going, I'll count you out. Good. All right, let's go. Four, three, get ready for those knee raise, claps, two, and one. So two and two, one. Two. Now watch your back here. The tendency is to do this. You don't want to do that. Keep your spine straight. If that means you can't reach your fingers under your leg, that's fine. Okay, it's more important to keep your back safe. Just do this. Good. Tap your knee for two. All right, under, under. The arms, what are they doing? What's the significance of those? Yeah, it's, a, it's a lateral raise. So you're working the um, lateral or the side portion of your shoulders. Good, but we don't want to compromise our back. All right, just do it separately. Do your lateral raises separately if you feel like you just can't stop rounding your back with this one with the hands and fingers touching underneath. Okay, up, 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 up. That's it, good. Keep breathing, that's it. Come on, get that air in and out. One, two, one, two, good. One, and two, and one, and two. Two more, one, two, last one, one, two. Let's rest out those arms, good work. Well done. Okay, a couple of moves to go. And then we'll finish up this workout for today and I have to say it was really enjoyable, I really liked it. Okay, let's go stationary walk. Forward and back. Now punch, punch. Arms have had a bit of a break. If they still need more of a break, just run them gently by your side. All right, we ready to feel that stationary leg before we finish out. Get that heart rate up a little bit too. Come on, punch, punch. Double punches, make it even harder. That's it, come on, punch. Two arms, keep going. You did a great job today. You should be very proud of yourself. It's always a great feeling when you get to the end of your workout. Good, that you've achieved something good for your body. That's it, keep punching. 10 seconds, we'll switch legs. Let's leave out the arms because the transition of the legs might be a bit tricky. Four, three, two, one. Now, other side, that's it. We can get those arms going in time. Good. I always think it's a good idea to get the legs down first and then get those arms going. Good work. Come on, you can do it. Reach the end of your workout. Nearly there. We've gone over the 25 minutes, but not to worry. We are just done. Good work. Punch. It was just a really an, an, an average number I plucked out of my head thinking yeah I think, think I'll do this in 25 minutes not far off though there's only one move left good 10 seconds to go let's rest those arms again and five four 
three, two, time, good work. Ooh, I think I need a little walk there just to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to relax those legs. <coughs> now, you're either gonna step across the room or you're gonna add a little hop in the middle, right? Okay, whatever you like. All right, let's walk for another 10 seconds. Good, bring that heart rate down a little bit. We increase it again. And then I will link up my cool down for you. Good, four, three, two, and go. So step across or hop across. Bring in those arms. It's a nice little gentle hop in the middle, not slamming down on your ankle joints. Slight bend in the knee just to take that pressure off the force coming into the joints with jumping moves. That's it, good. If you learn how your body functions and how it moves in space, you can really, you can still do your workouts and keep injury at bay. Stay in tune with how your body works. That's it, tall spine up to the ceiling, retracting your shoulder blades, landing softly like you have eggs in your shoes and you don't want to scramble those eggs. Okay, or even smash those eggs. That's it, around you go. And around, good. 10 more, nine, eight. Keep stepping away there if you don't want to jump. Good, five more, that's it. Four, three, two, and time. Well done, that's it, 20, nearly, nearly 28 minutes, not far off. If you want to keep marching out there, we bring it up to the 28 minute mark. That was good. Well done. Plus your warm up. Include your warm up. You've got lots of steps in there too. Great. Now, like I say, I will link up my cool down playlist. You'll find it underneath the video here in the description box. All right. You'll find a good selection of cool downs there. So if you spend a few minutes while your body's warm is really the best time. But I know we're all caught for time. Just get your cool downs in a couple of times a week. Just spend some time on your mobility because like I say, it is so important. Now, if you liked this workout, just leave me a comment in the comment sec section below the box. And um, if you liked that style, I know it's a little bit different than when we're using the timer, but um, I, I personally love those type of workouts, those ones that you just flow from one move to the other, okay? But um, let me know how you got on yourself and what you thought of it okay and also if you did like it i'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video that is really great let that algorithm know that people are liking what i'm putting out and therefore it'll promote me a little bit more so that's wonderful and also keep yourselves hydrated okay don't forget to hydrate because I, I built up a really good sweat there now halfway through that workout thank you so much for joining me today you did a wonderful job double thumbs up to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.